Today, let's investigate different ways to look at your jujitsu. Wait until the very end, and you'll get to see what I think jujitsu actually is. If you like it, hit like, hit subscribe, do all the things. Thanks. Enjoy. Pew, 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 pew. So, how are the first few months of your jujitsu gone? Fantastic. Having fun? Yeah. Learning a lot? Yeah. Any questions or concerns? Yeah. I mean, yes, I do actually. Shoot. So I was talking about jujitsu to some people online. Oh no. And this really experienced guy was saying, R really experienced, like a two strike blue belt. Does he train? I don't think he's training right now. I think he blew out his knee doing a flying arm bar. Okay. 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 Anyway, he was saying if you're not training for self-defense, you're not doing jujitsu. Some people do feel this way, yeah. But you don't? I feel it's one aspect of training. So I would put self-defense in the same category of reasons to train that are tangible. No tangible. It's an orange. Getting in shape, relieving stress, having a community, and of course, self defense. But isn't just doing jujitsu gonna get you better at self defense? Some parts are gonna have a bigger impact than others. In a self defense situation, you're not gonna use a barambolo. Where do you get all these things? Well, so here's what's up with self defense. Most of the time, we can assume a few things. Firstly, the other person is very often gonna be bigger and stronger than us. I'm pretty strong. <sighs> I know you are, but let's concern ourselves with the times that they are stronger. Mm -hmm. Secondly, they're gonna be very aggressive. They're not gonna be pacing themselves, they're gonna be trying as hard as they can the entire time. And finally, they probably don't know jujitsu. Put these three things together and you would end up focusing on specific techniques and positions for self-defense. Tell me which ones. And you're gonna have to come to class to learn those. Fine, glad I could help. Hold on, I have another question. Of course, there was another guy online. There always is. He's a competitor, in fact, a former world champ. In what division? I don't know, you should check. Okay, anyway. He said, if you aren't competing, you aren't doing jujitsu. Of course he did. That's ridiculous. You don't like competition? I didn't say that. I think it's ridiculous to think you're not doing jujitsu if you're not competing. So should I compete? Maybe. Why do you want to? I don't know, it looks really cool. Standing on podiums, getting medals, posting on Instagram. You didn't describe competition, you just described winning. Winning is fun. Yeah, but it shouldn't be your main motivation. Competition is fine, but it has its pitfalls. Do I have to come to class to hear about those two? Why does coming to class seem like a punishment for you? It's not. So you know in training I talk a lot about gears, how flow rolling would be first gear, and training super hard all out with somebody that you trust would be like fifth gear? Yeah. Competition is sixth gear. It's cool, but topping out your engine has its risks. What about what that guy online said? First of all, stop caring what online guy thinks about anything. Secondly, if you ask most school owners, they'll tell you less than 20% of their students actively compete. You think the other 80% aren't doing jujitsu? No, that doesn't seem right. In some ways, competition is like fast food. Delicious, addictive, feels great at the time, but not as nutritious as your overall training. But what if? I wanna find out what I'm made of. I get that, I really do. But remember, you're also made of bones and ligaments, and those can break. So what is jujitsu? If it's not competition, if it's not self-defense, it's art. It's a martial art. And art is whatever the artist wants to make of it, and whatever the person appreciating it tends to see. That's kind of lovely. Martial arts can be kind of lovely. That was very helpful. Thank you. I am glad. One more pitfall for you, though. People tend to think that the way they do things are the way to do things. I see a lot of guys like that. Sure you do. Don't be that guy. Maybe they randomly walk into a school with a specific philosophy. 
Maybe the school was relatively closed-minded. Now, that's the only way to do jujitsu for them. So when can I start gearing up for competition? Oof. Let's learn to tie that belt first. 